May long weekend in Canada, zone three, and I've got a lot of gardening work to do. So basically I have to take all of my seedlings here and I have to put them into here. But you can see I've got all of my weeding and everything to do. The whole garden has to be turned over. I have some junk here I need to remove. Those pails have to come out and I'm gonna get ready to put my lettuce in there. And then over here, you can see that I've got my uh, pails. Those white pails are up and down. There's two of them. I don't know if you can see them, they're upside down. Uh, but those have to get underneath the downspouts. So over here in the front, I've gotta do this whole piece here. This is gonna be my kale bed. So that all has to be weeded and turned. And then over here, I've got another one here. I have to get this ready because this is gonna be the spinach bed this year. Not to mention my grass needs to be cut. It's a good thing I have a 17 year old that's gonna be coming out and doing that. So if you're interested in this gardening kind of stuff and you wanna see how I do some stuff, stick around. And I'd love it if you gave me a like and subscribe as well. Um, it helps the algorithm and all that stuff and I hate to ask, but. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do with everything that uh, needs to happen is I'm gonna get my rain barrels out and I'll tell you why in a second. So I used pallets for my fencing here and my gate to get in. The only problem is, is that the wasps really enjoy this uh, wood here uh, because I'm sure they're making a nest with the paper they're making from the wood. And I hate wasps. Okay, it's not the wasps I hate. I hate getting stung. Yeah. So this downspout has to come off. This is how I have it in the winter time. And then basically I just have a little screw here, like it's not even really on there, just to kind of like give it a point to grab. And this will come off just like that. Then we have the barrel and the barrel's sitting up here on a spool so that I can put uh, something under here or when the hose comes down, it's got a little bit of pressure. And here, and there it is. There we go. And then when it rains, this fills up and it can only get to this part and then it takes it away from the house. And one thing I do have to do is just get a screen or something for the top here. The front I have a little different, it just runs up and then comes down and then uh, comes away from the house you can see right like that. So this is my heating cable that goes and uh, heats up in the winter time. Up in the gutters there you can see some of it hanging over and stuff so that heats up to prevent ice damage. So for the front here I do it a little bit different. I have to use this accordion kind of thing and uh, hook it up there. You can see I've got two screws in there, which just end up going into these screws here. So there you can see it goes in. Once it overflows, goes down the hose again. And I keep the hose rolled up when it's not raining. I have to give this area water. I don't know if you saw a couple of videos ago, we were trying to figure out what we were gonna do here. So we just went with straight wildflowers. And so we planted about five days ago and you can see that it looks like some stuff is coming up and these are kind of all over the place here. So that's exciting. I'm actually gonna be filling uh, this barrel up with my water from the house. I know it's supposed to have rain, uh, but the facts are is that when you water your garden and stuff with warm, regular water, uh, it, it grows much better rather than if you're using cold water from deep in the ground or wherever it's coming from, our pipes or whatever, right? So uh, warming it up really helps. Uh, we don't have rain in the forecast for a few days, so I'm just kind of getting a head start on this. Check out the wasps on my wood pallet gates. Scary. The bucket's filling up over there, so I guess the next thing to do uh, on my agenda is get my uh, bed ready for my kale. I have to put a like gate up, like chicken wire gate uh, there because uh, we have a lot of rabbits in the area. So they tend to want to go in and eat the delicious kale. Only thing is that I want to eat it too. So 
So there I've got all my chicken wire out. The only problem is, is that each one is cut for a different place in the yard. So I really need to learn to mark those, I think. There's my buddy, the crow. He hangs around, I give him peanuts sometimes. Well, everybody needs a good hose sometimes. Whoops. See, I don't have the hose out. It's filled. And it's working. Finally time to get the first seedlings in. The water's still pretty cold, but uh, it's what I got. One down, 19 to go. Now I just have to put the cover on top. So basically you wanna cover up your kale and other brassicas like broccoli, it's always a good idea too, because they are pest prone, uh, particularly the flea beetle, and they're just these tiny little black beetles and they come in droves and they just wipe stuff out. And the brassicas are one of them that they like. So uh, another thing too is you get these little white moths and then they, uh, I don't know if they're actually a butterfly, but I did a whole video on this as to why to cover up your broccoli and stuff from last year. You can find it if you want, but they'll lay their eggs on there and then you'll get those little green worms on the back sides of the, of the leaves and stuff like that. And they will munch on those as well. So, so basically like I've got this wire here and this is just wire that you run under a chain link fence at the bottom. Uh, all the way across. It's almost like a coat hanger. So basically I'm gonna attach this wire to this stick here using a bulldog clip and then I'm gonna have my cup my mesh cover uh, also in that as well. Did you see the crow? So what I did is I just put bulldog clips like everywhere. You can see in the back here, uh, it's all secured onto the stick. And then the cool thing is, is that I can just flip this up. I can flip it all up, do my watering, and then I'll just bring it back down again, have it clipped down at the bottom here, and voila. So I gotta make that look a little nicer now. And that is it. Is it beautiful? Well, that might be a matter of opinion. Is it gonna work? Hell yeah. I'm not going to end up working on the other half of my uh, garden there in the front uh, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna plant there. But what I am sure of is that I need to uh, take care of my seedlings. Some of these have to get into the pails and stuff. So I'm gonna take care of that right away instead. So here's my lettuce that I'll be planting. You can see that it's doing pretty good. I have a couple though that aren't doing good. Like it's weird because this is crisp mint lettuce and this is also crisp mint lettuce. And I'm pretty sure that I planted these at the same time. And I thought they were getting the same kind of treatment, but I'm hoping that once I get these into pails that they'll be doing better. And this one is a white Paris and same with this one over here. But then look at this white Paris here, right? So, um, Kind of weird. Other thing I want to get into the pails is the peppers as well. Those are definitely ready to be in there and start growing. Twenty five pails to put stuff into. And I finally moved the garbage out of the garden, so it's clear. But uh, look at all the dandelions and everything I have to dig up. So I'm doing three lettuce in one pail. Uh, it might be a little overcrowded, but I'm gonna try it. And then uh, my peppers will be one per pail. So I've got nine pails to get ready. And 
and here's our compost. Here's the one we're working on. And here is the fresh stuff. Awesome. I always mix a little fresh compost or something in with the pails because that's been used already, right? So uh, I noticed a lot of worms inside there too, so that's a good thing. Almost done with the pails, but you can see here in an old one, it's all like lower because it's all compacted. So then what happens is, um, even this one too here, you can see how low that really went. So I'm left with all of this soil here. All right, so I'm getting ready to plant. So I'm doing three lettuce in each one. And I don't know how it's gonna go. I've never put lettuce in pails before, uh, but I heard it can be done. I feel like three is gonna be maybe a little too packed, but I like to push the limits, so. Just gotta get this out of here if I can. And I like to loosen up the roots a little bit just to get them flowing again. These are pretty good, so. So to get three in there, it does have to be pretty close to the edge here. So there's a closer look. There's a little bit of dirt and stuff on them, but not a big deal. Nine more to go again. All right, so there we are. They're all planted and labeled as well, so I know what's what. And. Uh, Really hoping that these guys and these guys here can come back once their roots have a chance to spread around and everything like that. And the peppers are pretty basic. Uh, we're just planting them like normal. Uh, just digging a hole, putting it in there, and giving it some water. You can see the roots in there, so it'll be nice. They'll be able to spread out and uh, this thing will be able to start growing like crazy. Super easy, not much to it. Looks good in there. Hopefully you'll get a lot of orange peppers. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much done for the day. Stay tuned, because you can see what I'm doing in the main garden tomorrow if you're into that sort of thing. Okay, so we have these string lights here. And uh, they obviously broke in the winter time because I didn't take them down. But if you look closely in here, I don't know if you can see that. There is a wasp building a nest in there. Can you see that? I'm gonna have to spray because no wasps allowed. Okay, I ran away. And there it came out. It's out of there now. That must be the queen. Oh, scary stuff. See that? That's a fire pit. And that's how I'm gonna relax tonight. But check this out. So it's pretty rusty. As you can see, it's been pretty well used. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom right through. We noticed this last year at the end of the year. It's just like rotted out. Joanna's uncle owns a metal shop, so. He cut this out for us, hoping it's gonna fit. Oh no, <laughs> it's not. So this was supposed to be the bottom piece, but I didn't account for the lip that's around here. I can't take this lip off. It has to be on there so that this lid can stay on. But I think maybe if I just like hammer it down and then maybe I can hammer it back up once it's in there. So the hammer wasn't a good idea, but these pliers really work. So I think if I do that all the way around, I can bend it down, squeeze it in, and then bend all that back up. Yeah.
Yes, it did it. Look at that. Stainless steel. So, like her uncle said, it's gonna outlast our uh, fire pit, which doesn't have much life left in it anyways. There's always another one. I shouldn't say it doesn't have much life left in it. With that new bottom, there's some fires to be had yet. It's pretty much noon now, and I'm out way later than I wanted to be. Uh, I couldn't sleep last night. It was after three before I got to sleep, and I don't know what it was. So I'm just heading over to the garden now, and uh, this is the part I've been kind of dreading. Put that there. So I got to pick out all of the dandelions, and then uh, get the garden ready to go. So it's a pretty big job, and it's probably going to take me a couple of hours at least to... Uh, take care of that before I can even put anything in. So I'm gonna finish up my coffee and then get to it. Big bad poppy. Ready? Go get it. Oh, look at that big stick you got. <laughs> look at that. Awesome. I like to dig these guys out because look at the size of that root. That is big and so they'll just keep growing back if you don't. I've got a carrot coming up again and so in these cages here I left some carrots in because they have to go, uh, if you want them to go to seed they have to uh, go like over winter and then they come back up and they'll produce seeds. So it looks like I should get some seed from this one hopefully. Poppy's just content to be laying around in the dandelions so I've just had a break and you can see I've done this much here and I still have all of this to do I'm starting to wonder if I'm gonna get it done today and get all my plants in but uh, here's for trying you can see towards the fence here like over here it's not as bad but when you get over to the fence there's a lot of grass creeping from the other side so what I did is I took my shovel and I jammed it down there to try and break all those roots because the roots are just nasty. I don't know if you can see any here, but you can see all these here. All this stuff here is just roots and it just, like it's hard and it just covers it all. So try to break some of those, see if I can kill some and then I'm gonna turn it all up. And I did that all the way along. So this side is the harder part. When you get over here, it's not as bad. So that won't take me as long. Look at some of my soil. It's just clumpy clay kind of stuff. That's where I'll use some of the soil from the pails yesterday and I'm gonna add it to there because this is much better uh, soil than this is. And I'll put some compost of course too. So I had a bit of a change of plan for the garden. Um, I was trying to get like the whole garden uh, turned today but that's probably not gonna happen because it's after three o'clock already. So what I think I'm gonna do, because I need to get my tomatoes in, which are over on the table over there, I don't know if you can see them, but uh, I'm just going to turn the areas that I'm gonna put my tomatoes into. And then uh, that way, as I plant other stuff, I can turn it or I can start working on it little bits over the week and everything, instead of trying to tackle the whole thing at once, because it's probably not gonna happen. And so I need to shift my uh, tactics. So you see this pile here of stuff, this is all dandelion roots. And so what I'm gonna be doing is um, drying these out in the oven and then uh, I'm gonna make a coffee or a tea with it. I've done it before and it actually works out pretty good. So um, yeah, like dandelions are just such a versatile thing and I don't know why we don't take more advantage of them. Yeah, 
Mexico decided to come out with us today. These are the tomatoes I'm putting in first. Uh, they are the new dwarf tomatoes. So these are uh, smaller plants, but uh, they get these big giant um, beefsteak tomatoes. Okay, so I've got it figured out here. So uh, there are my uh, uh, new dwarf beefsteaks. And these ones here are early annies. So those will be the first to produce. And then over here, I've got the Pritchard Scarlet. And so they're nice, big, round, red, juicy tomatoes. Uh, so this is what I'm doing in the garden for my tomatoes. And then over in the pails, I did a couple of more uh, Pritchard Scarlet here and here. And then over here is an early Annie. And then the rest of my pails will be for more lettuce. And then I might do some pole beans or uh, some peas or something else in there. So yeah, I need the space over here uh, because over along the fence here, we're gonna do um, some cucumbers, probably up to about here. And then the rest of this here will be pole beans. I'll probably do some there. And then uh, this whole area here is going to be uh, broccoli probably. And then, uh, so we're gonna have the cucumbers here and then there's gonna be two rows of beans that I want. Uh, and then we'll be doing some onions, carrots, and uh, I'm sure we'll figure out some other stuff to do too. That's the plan so far anyways. Of course, you know, it could change in a day. We've got some apple blossoms coming. So just putting some compost down at the bottom and I don't know if you know, but uh, when you plant tomatoes, um, you don't plant them here. You plant them like about here so that all of this is underground because all of these little hairs and everything are all going to form roots. So you want a strong root system. I just got a water and it's good to go. Well, tomatoes are in and time will tell to see how they do. Um, when I was putting some in like um, I thought I heard a couple of snaps uh, because this clay soil is so hard, like right here. This clay soil is so hard that I think maybe, I hope I didn't snap a main branch. Just a leaf would be fine, um, but we'll see what happens. I gotta say though, my body is pretty like, um, oh, there was a bird right here. I gotta say though that my body is pretty like, sore i could tell that i used it lots my gardening muscles have to strengthen up a little bit i guess um do you get that i don't know leave me a comment let me know well the tomatoes are in the pails and uh that's pretty much what i'm gonna do today i thought i was gonna get way further but uh you know you always uh sometimes the eyes are bigger than the stomach i don't know you know what i mean uh so yeah that's it i'm gonna uh clean up the mess now and then I'm gonna go have a relax too so thanks for watching if you made it this far sorry I didn't get right through everything maybe I'll do another video about it but uh, you know I hope you got something out of this maybe you learned something I'm not a perfect gardener so um, maybe you have some comments for me leave them down below I'm just a guy trying to grow some food that's it right so uh, like subscribe if you made it this far I'd really appreciate it and uh, remember the most important thing, take care of yourself. See you in the next one.